Hey, Dad. What's the ETA on your arrival home today? Eh, I reckon I'll be sauntering in around 7 p.m. No major hiccups, I hope. Is everything copacetic? Yeah, Dad. All good on the home front. No worries. It's just... Brace yourself for the bombshell. I've taken it upon myself to whip up some grub for us tonight. And guess what's on the menu? Mouth-watering hamburgers. Your all-time fave. Whoa now, look at you go, Emily. We've got a budding master chef in the house. I'm impressed, kiddo. Thanks, Dad. I picked up some cooking skills in our home economic class at school, and I thought I'd put them to good use. Gotta say, these burgers are looking mighty scrumptious. Well, I'm positively stoked. I can't wait to sink my teeth into those juicy patties. If you're up for it, you can be my personal burger chef every day. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, you've got a talent. <laughs> Dad, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I might get a tad mad if you leave even a crumb behind. These burgers are too good to waste. No way, kiddo. I'm going to savor every last bite. Ain't no chance of me leaving anything behind, especially when it comes to your culinary creations. Oh, by the way, what's the word from your mom? Mom says she's still stuck at work. Seems like she's caught up on the daily grind, you know? But hey, don't fret, Dad. I'll keep you company. And we'll have a blast with these burgers. Just hold tight. I promise I won't keep you waiting too long. Thanks, sweetie. I appreciate your company. I'm counting down the minutes until I'm back home with my awesome chef. What do you want? I'm busy. Are you doing overtime today? I said, what do you want? You promised you'd be home early yesterday, didn't you? We literally only discussed how important it is that we don't leave Emily home alone. Did I promise that? I don't remember doing anything of the sort. Besides, it can't be helped. Work is work. It's out of my hands. Do you know how hard it is being a working mom? I'm very busy. It's not like I'm not busy myself, but we still have a daughter to think about. It's not fair on Emily to leave her home alone like this. She'll get lonely. And what if she has an accident when there's no one around? We only discussed this yesterday. What the hell? How about you stop trying to paint me out like some kind of monster here? It's not like that. All I'm doing is asking that we start cooperating a little bit more. You've been leaving all the housework to Emily lately, right? She's still in middle school. Do you know how annoying you are? Has it ever occurred to you that you'd be better zipping it? If you're going to whine at me this much, why not just quit your job and live at home forever? Emily will never be alone that way. Does that mean you're going to be the one putting food on the table then? How exactly are you going to do that as an agency temp? Ah, uh, there it is. You're so quick to look down your nose at me. You think you're so special just because you have a long-term contract, don't you? I see you still got your head stuck up your own backside, just like always. I'm not looking down my nose at you at all. I'm just being realistic. How are you going to support a family with a job like that? Temps don't make as much as regular employees, and they don't have any long-term guarantee of work on top of that. Besides, you don't even put any money into the family finances as it is. How are you suddenly going to go from that to shouldering the entire burden on your own? If I quit my job, we'd be homeless and you know it. I am so busy raising Emily that I only have time to work temp jobs. What would you have me do in this situation? If you quit your job and stayed at home, I'd be freed up to look for something long term with a better salary. Hmm. I've actually been wanting to say this for some time now, but a woman will never be happy as long as she's dependent on someone else. I want financial independence. I want you to understand and accept how I feel. Not just when it suits you, but all the time. Look, I get that. It's not that I want you to be cooped up in the house all the time either. But we can't leave Emily on her own like this anymore. She has to be our number one priority. Surely you can accept that. I'm going to think of something. We can't keep doing this. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Emily's parents day. You know, that one that was supposed to be this week. I got a letter saying they rescheduled it to next week. Huh? Seriously? I'm not sure if that's going to fit with my work schedule. Don't worry if you can't make it. There's no sense in going out of your way if it's going to make things difficult for you. I can just go on my own. Oh, you don't mind? Hmm. But if I could switch the holiday I booked for this week to next week, I might still be able to make it. And it wouldn't really make a difference work-wise. I think I can just about pull it off. Okay. Either way, it's fine though, really. Dad, where are you right now? Now? I'm working right now. What's up? I'm at the office. I've had it with you. To think you would cancel on me. My own dad? I hate you. I don't even want to see your face. Excuse me? Emily, are you okay? Did I do something wrong? Did we have some kind of promise for today? Emily! 
Is Emily at home right now? Huh? No, she isn't. She just said she hates me. Do we have something arranged for today? Did I forget about something important? Who knows? I'm sure she's just going through a phase. You know what girls are like at this age. I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably nothing. Maybe it could turn out to be a good thing. How about you use this opportunity to give her some space? Maybe, but I can't help but feel like we should talk things through to clear the air, even if it's just briefly. I don't want to leave things this way. No, I think that would have the opposite effect. She'd probably find you annoying if you went out of your way to try and speak to her when she's in a mood like this. I think she needs space. It's okay to trust me sometimes, you know. I was that age once myself, believe it or not, so I know how a young girl's mind works. Hmm, I see. Okay, I'm going to trust you on this one. Great. Believe me, honey, this is the right thing to do. Oh yeah, and I think it's best you leave next week's parents' evening to me too. So don't worry about that either, okay? You could focus on your work now. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Just remember, she's still a kid. I'm sure she'll have forgotten all about this before we know it. Hmm, I really hope you're right. Emily, would you like to go for a drive with me later? I'd like to talk with you. Just the two of us. No. Emily, what's wrong? You've been avoiding me lately, haven't you? I don't have the slightest idea why you're mad at me. If I did something to upset you, I want to apologize. I really do. But if you won't tell me, there's nothing I can do. Won't you tell me what's wrong? Parents' Day. You didn't come. Even though you promised, you'd definitely be there. You promised me, Dad. What? Parents' Day? But that's next week. It's already over. You've got to be kidding me. Your mom told me it got rescheduled to next week. What? No, it didn't. Oh my god. Emily, I am so sorry. And that's not the only thing. I know what you said. You said I was ugly and stupid, didn't you? Didn't you? Mom's friend told me. What? There's no way I'd say something like that. You're the cutest daughter in the whole world, and I love you more than anything. I mean it. Huh? Oh, yeah, and? I heard you stole my school uniform and swimsuit from back when I was in elementary school. What? Why the hell would I do that? That's crazy. What exactly do you think I am? Huh? It wasn't you? Of course not. And the mean stuff you said about me? I didn't say any of it. But, Emily, there is one thing I owe you an apology for. I'm really sorry I missed your parents' day. It's already over, isn't it? Yes. I see. And it looks like I made a misunderstanding. That said, I know it's no excuse. And I'm genuinely sorry I was at work. I really wanted to go, though, honey. I want you to know that. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry too, Dad. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that. It's okay, sweetie. I understand. Now, who told you I said all those mean things about you? Did you say it was one of your mom's friends? The guy who came to Parents' Day with mom. Huh? I was super uncomfortable. I've never seen him before, and I don't even know why he was there. After that, they took me to a restaurant and made me eat with them. He was being really overly familiar, and it was creeping me out so much. And you say you didn't recognize him? Are you sure? Yes. I assumed she was just talking to one of the other parents when I saw him, but it turns out they actually came together. I've never seen him before. I see. Would you mind telling me a little more about what happened on Parents' Day when I get back from work? I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to your mom for the time being. Sure, okay. It's been so long since we went out to eat together. Can we? Can we? I like the way you think. Let me finish up here at the office and I'll be on my way. Sit tight, okay? See you soon. Okay. Later, Pops. That night, Emily told me all about Parents' Day with Mom's mystery friend and all on her own accord. I was so pleased we were on good terms again. Believe me, the things she told me were not the kind of things you'd expect to hear a girl in middle school talking about. My jaw was pretty much on the floor the whole time. After the talk, the two of us promised we wouldn't fall out again, instead resolving to work together as a team. Not long after, my wife told me about a letter that came requesting me and her to go to school on Monday with Emily to have a parent-child meeting with her teacher. Seems Daisy was still under the impression that me and Emily weren't speaking to one another because she immediately said, Don't worry about it, honey. I'll go on my own. Why don't you show your face at your folks' place instead? This was the moment I've been waiting for. It was time to act. I just talked to my folks at their place. How's it going on your end? Emily's meeting is this afternoon. I'm just relaxing on the sofa with a cup of hot chocolate at home right now. Huh? You're at home? Yeah, why? Interesting. I didn't know you lived in a hotel. When did you move in? What? Listen, Daisy, here's the thing. I'm downtown right now, and you'll never guess what. I found your doppelganger. I swear, she looks exactly like you. It's uncanny. 
She looked so much like you, in fact, that I decided to follow her. And then, she met up with some guy I didn't recognize, and they went to a hotel. What on earth could they be doing rushing into a hotel together at this hour of the morning? I wonder. Oh, really? What a coincidence. It must be like you say you found my doppelganger. It's definitely not me, though, honey. That's just crazy talk. Oh, that's strange. You see, she was also wearing the same suit you were wearing on Parents' Day. You know that navy one that you really like? The coincidences just keep piling up, huh? The guy's dressed up pretty sharp, too. Could it be that you're planning on going directly from the hotel to the parent-teacher meeting with Emily? If that's the case, I actually think you might be crazy. Like I said, it's not me. You've got the wrong person. Would you mind keeping your ridiculous misunderstandings to yourself from now on? It's really boring, you know? Oh, I've got the wrong person, have I? Is that so? Hmm, you know what? Maybe you're right. Ah, I know. I'll just wait in the hotel lobby till they check out. Then this whole thing will be cleared up in a heartbeat. And don't worry about me, sweetie. You just make sure you make it to the school in time for the meeting, okay? Fine, whatever. You win. There's no point in hiding it anymore. Anyways, I'm having an affair. Sorry. Wow. So you really are, huh? You and your underhanded schemes and tricks. You're bitching and whining. I'm sick of it all. You're so annoying. Is it any wonder your own daughter hates you? At this point, I may as well just come out with it. I'm breaking up with you and moving in with my boyfriend. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? The original plan was to have Emily live with you, but you know what? I'd actually fear for her future. If she was to live with someone as pathetic as you, <laughs> she can live with me and my boyfriend instead. An idea he was really, really eager about. By the way, isn't he just the sweetest? Emily seems to like him a lot too. Is that what Emily wants? Of course it is. At the very least, she most definitely does not want to live with the likes of you. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much your daughter hates you right now? Emily is the one who told me that guy you've been seeing would probably show up at the parent-teacher meeting today. Huh? The three of you went out for dinner after Parents' Day, right? She told me he was being super over-familiar and creeping the living daylights out of her. What? Not only that, but also the way you've been so desperately trying to ingratiate yourself with him in front of her as well as how he kept acting like the two of them were best friends, and, and how you could even ask her to start calling him dad. All made her feel super uncomfortable and creeped out. I mean, seriously, Daisy, what the hell do you think you're playing at? Huh? Who the hell does that little brat think she is? Kids aren't stupid, you know. Especially not Emily. She knows about this kind of thing. Is that so? Well, in that case, you could do whatever you please with her then. I could finally be rid of you both. Don't worry about the child support, he'll get your money. It's not like it's going to affect me financially, you could take as much as you'd like. I'd much rather take a hit than have the two of you even around for a second longer. Listen, Daisy, there's something you should know. That guy, it's probably not you he's interested in. What's that supposed to mean? Oh no, is someone jealous? Not the slightest, believe me. Look. Apparently, Emily's old school clothes and swimsuits from elementary school started going missing all of a sudden lately. You've had him over our place countless times by now, right? Yes, he may have been over a few times. School uniforms? Swimsuits? Emily's clothes? I can only conclude that it was him. He's been stealing them. Who else could it be? Think about it. Wasn't he opposed to the idea of you giving up custody for her? Don't make me laugh. He may well have wanted her to live with us, but there's no way it'd be for that kind of reason. Have you gone mad? He just left. Okay, why not ask him then? He's in there with you now, right? Hey, you there. Huh? I told him I didn't want Emily living with us, that you would be taking custody instead. And he just blurted out, well, what the heck's the point of any of this then? And stomped out. <laughs> really? This just got real. Wait, no, wait. Someone serious looking just stormed out of the hotel. Could it be him? <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetie. These things happen. <laughs> Jack, are you still in the lobby? Why? Just tell me. I am. Why? I'm in room 405. Why don't you come up and see me? Why would I do that? I'm so sorry for all the awful things I said, baby. I'm really, really sorry, I promise. So how about it, honey? Will you forgive me? Wow, are there any depths to which you wouldn't stoop? I'm beyond disgusted right now. I am not coming up there. You're welcome to come down any time, though. Why not? Don't be like that. He deceived me. Can't you see I'm the victim here? I didn't think he was like that. So wait, the moment you realize your boyfriend was after your daughter and not you, you immediately switched to trying to butter me up again? Are you even self-aware? Come on. Please try and understand my point of view. He said he'll provide for all my needs and give me a life of luxury. Anyone would have done the same in my situation. We women are weak and it comes off to that sort of thing. This isn't my fault. Not my fault. 
You know, it's funny, Daisy. You see, someone recently told me a woman will never be happy as long as she's dependent on someone else. They told me they wanted financial independence. Stop this at once. Look, I take back what I said, okay? Oh, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about the person standing next to me right now, your boss. So, guess what I uncovered with just a little bit of snooping around? Turns out your lover happens to be your boss's husband. <laughs> Talk about a juicy scandal. And get this, I'm actually down in the lobby with her right now. She's got quite the story to tell, let me tell you. Apparently, she's had her slimy husband all figured out for a while now. It's crazy, right? But hey, here's a thought. When a woman has her own financial independence, she doesn't need to put up with a lying, cheating scumbag of a husband. She can just kick him to the curb without any hesitation. <laughs> Wait a sec. Hold on. Are you seriously telling me that my boss is downstairs? Kelly, please tell me you're joking. Oh, I wish I could, Daisy, but I'm dead serious. She specifically asked me to tell you to hurry up and come down here. She's waiting for you. No way. I can't face her right now. I just... I don't want to. Are you seriously expecting me to go down there? Please, Jack, find a way to get rid of her somehow. I'm begging you. Look, Daisy, this is completely out of my hands. She's determined to take legal action against both you and her husband. She wants to sue you for everything she can get. And, well, I hate to say it, but I'll be suing you too. Between the two of us, I have a feeling you're going to end up owing a pretty hefty sum. But hey, you're used to working overtime, right? <laughs> This is a nightmare. I never imagined things would escalate to this level. I don't even know what to do anymore. How did it come to this? I know it's a tough situation, Daisy, but you've got to face the consequences of your actions. It's time to own up to what happened and deal with it. Maybe there's a chance for some kind of resolution, but you'll have to face her eventually. Just remember, I'm here for you, no matter what. I appreciate your support, Jack. I really do. It's just... It's so overwhelming. I never wanted any of this to happen. I never meant to hurt anyone. Now I have to face the music and figure out how to make things right. It's going to be a long and difficult journey, but I guess I have no choice but to face it head on. That's the spirit, Daisy. We all make mistakes, and it's how we handle the aftermath that defines us. It won't be easy, but I believe in you. You're strong, and you'll find a way to get through this. Just remember, I'm here to support you every step of the way. We'll get through this together, no matter what happens. Not long after that, everyone in the hotel saw a desperately struggling Daisy being held down on the floor by her boss after she tried to escape through the staff entrance. Finding herself unable to talk her way out of the mess she made, she broke down in tears before me and Kelly, who had been lying in wait to ambush her. She did her best to worm her way out using her special ability, damsel in distress, but I was wise to her tricks, and it wasn't very effective. Me and Kelly just ignored her instead opting to call her and her lover's parents to notify them of what had happened. A few days later, both sets of parents came over, complete with the ignoble duo themselves, and everyone apologized profusely, but we refused their pleas to settle out of court and stood firm to the very last of our demands for compensation. Daisy, who had in fact been out having lover's trysts when she claimed to be doing overtime, had nothing in the way of savings and was virtually penniless without my support. Naturally, she also got fired for personal misconduct by the temp agency. Last I heard, she's being forced to work day and night under the watchful eye of her notoriously strict parents. As for me and Emily, we just moved out of the house and embarked on our new life together. We're gradually getting used to the new situation, and if anything, she's the one teaching me how to do things around the house. Every weekend, she teaches me how to cook a new dish. We're both really busy, so I can't say I'm lucky enough to eat her food every day, but I'm not exaggerating when I say I'm the happiest dad in the world when I get to eat her cooking. My daughter is the best. 